Well, Are you busy? I'm making the hearts. Well, I know, but buddy, I, you know, I have this couple, which is a little weird. They came here for their honeymoon. They want a cake. They want a heart cake. She wants a red velvet. I kind of feel a little bit bad because this uh, is where she came on a honeymoon. Bad. Yeah, I, I kind of oh, feel. Oh, you feel bad. I don't know about I that. feel bad. I don't know how that is. I you feel bad for the poor sudden? girl that she came here for a honeymoon. So I figured maybe you could help them out and make them. Um, they want a red velvet cake. Hey, I'm busy. Usually, my sister Mary would say, drop dead or, you know, whatever. But she was inspired. She wanted me to make them something nice. Is this red velvet? It looks like it's red velvet. To see her being nice to people inspired me to do something cool. You going to make it? It's their lucky day, I guess. All right, hurry up. So I took a red velvet heart, filled it with chocolate mousse, chocolate ganache, fresh strawberries. I ice it in buttercream, and I'm going old school on it. So I take a little piping bag, and I take some different tips, and I just start going to town on it. I'm doing little designs, little designs, pipe little hearts, do little drop lines, little dots. I said, you know what, it's Valentine's Day. Let me write, be mine. And I mean, this cake looked awesome. Buddy, you really outdid yourself. I think it looks so cute. I think they're gonna love it. I think so too. Oh, and I'm God. glad that you finally have a heart. Come on, let's go bring All it right, to them. We'll bring it to them together. Oh, wow. Hey guys. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, guys. It's beautiful, huh? It's gorgeous. I could see they were so in love and I was inspired. I mean, listen, I'm a helpless romantic. What can I say? Oh, yeah, look at that. So this week, we got an order. The customer's parents are celebrating their 50th wedding anniversary, and they want to surprise them with the wedding cake, like a replica of when they got married. Let them drop, baby. So making drop lines on the cake is not a problem. But when you do delicate string work, that's something that kind of like is suspended in the air. And that's something where you have to decorate at the premise. You doing the thing in the bottom too? Yeah, we're gonna do that when we get there. More, that's up tomorrow. I gotta throw this one tomorrow to finish and deliver this cake because I gotta deliver the cake for the NHL. Well, how do you make that stick then? I'll give you a little sample. Okay. Drop lines like this you can only do on location. You can't decorate it at the bakery and then drive, otherwise it's gonna break. I think I could do this. I've never been to the venue, so I just hope that the temperature's right in the venue, because this is very delicate. I mean, it gets too hot, it could sweat, and then all break, but I'll do it, and then we'll see what happens to it. Well, it's in your hands. Yeah. Don't mess I'll it up. Marriage is like a deck of cards. In the beginning, all you need is two hearts and a diamond. By the end, you wish you had a club and a spade. <laughs> it's called a drop point for a reason, because all you're doing is really just put it in a bag and pull it and drop and pull it and drop it. And this has a double loop with another loop in between them. So it's like really three times the trouble. There's nothing on the bottom, and you have to like kind of hit it just right, because if you don't, it's not good. Oof. My grandfather took great pride in his bakery and his family, so it was only natural for him to create a masterpiece for his oldest daughter. Let's see how we do if we move it. Those of you fortunate to have attended the original wedding were able to appreciate its grandeur, the skills needed for all the intricate work, including all the hung sugar lines, and the hours and days it took to create such a special cake. I might be a lucky, maybe. <laughs> Hi, guys. Um, I'm Mauro Castano from Carlos Bakery in Hoboken, New Jersey, so. <laughs> <laughs> 50 years is special. Oh, so, congratulations. Oh, my goodness. 
This reminded us of what we used to do back in the old days too. Buddy piped the pipe, uh, the, the piping there at the bakery, and then I put it together and did the hunk sugar here. Here? That was the, yeah, I did it about I literally know. 10 minutes ago. Not my wildest dreams that I think there was anybody left now that does hung sugar. Does it remind you a little bit? That's exactly what he did. You have shocked the living oh, daylights out of me. Exactly. Oh, I like that's what we're going for, right? right? She was going for the shock. Right. She was going to shock you. So I want to wish you guys happy anniversary on 50 right. great Thank years. Thank you for oh. coming. You this gotta is... tell me your trick. You gotta tell me your secret, though. We went to do a 75-year wow. anniversary for this couple. And I asked them the same question I'm asking you. What's your secret to 50 years? You just two words. What is it? Yes, yes dear. You know what? <laughs> you know what? That's the same answer he gave me. Yes, dear. <laughs> so it works. So it, so it works. works. We know it works. All right, congratulations, oh. man. Congratulations. My daughter shocked me completely. That was so wonderful of her to do. And it's the best memory I could have had. It's unbelievable. It's terrific. I could tell by their reactions that that meant more to them than any other gift I could have given them. So I'm here at a cat cafe to do a consultation. The cat cafe is like a regular cafe in the front, but then there's little loungy areas and there's cats everywhere. Buddy seems to send me out like on the crazier ideas. We foster adoptable cats here, and we're actually having a wedding for two of our cats, Sammy and Jethro. And we would love it if you would make us the wedding cake. How do you know that these two cats want to get married? Well, they really are kind of inseparable, and they're always sleeping on each other and grooming each other. So we have decided that it's probably best if they tie the knot. I never had a cat. I'm not a cat person. I don't hate them. I just, I never had any interactions with cats. I actually have an invitation. We're sending this out to a select group of people, but we would love it if you would come back and officiate the wedding. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I would love to do it. I'm, this is my first time officiating a wedding. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of the weirdest orders I've ever taken. Spoke to my sister Mary, and we got an order for a cat wedding. I'm thinking a traditional wedding cake. Of but course. But maybe like the top tier looks like a bowl of yarn, and maybe we put two little cat figurines on top. I'm going to make the cat's tails make a little heart. Oh, oh. So cute. This cake's a classic. Black and white with fudge. I'm just glad that Mary didn't offer for us to make a cake that the cats could actually eat because cat food flavor is pretty gross. So, uh, did Mary happen to tell you how involved in this wedding she is? No. What is she doing? She is marrying them. She's the priest? <laughs> I'm not making this up. This is what she told us. How is she the priest? You know, non-denominational cat wedding. Oh, that's not true, Liz. They're Catholic. Oh, <laughs> thanks for that. The whole cat wedding cake thing might sound a little crazy, but who are we to judge? If it makes somebody happy, it's all that matters. Now that we've got the cake stacked, it's time to make the bowl of yarn. So my idea is to use the pasta machine and just kind of like wrap it around. Because what cat doesn't like yarn? That looks good. Let's get the bling. Okay, that's good. Done. What do you think? Perfect. I think it's cute. It's like normal wedding cake, and then this is for cats. Yeah. Come on, Ralph. It's a beautiful cake. I don't get it. Wow. That's amazing. Do you like it? I love it. It looks like a wedding cake. I know, and look, it has like yarn, like for the cats. This is a beautiful cake. Everybody is all dressed up for the wedding. This is fantastic. Thank you so I'm much. I'm so glad thank you like you, thank it, you, ben. Thank you. I hope the cats like it. I hope so too. <laughs> okay. So should we get the wedding started? Sure.
thanks for coming to uh, celebrate the union of Sammy and Jethro. This is really a celebration of them. So I'm gonna turn it over to Mary. Oh my God. Okay, I'm a little nervous because I don't wanna make any mistakes for these two lovely cats. Dearly beloved, we are here today to join in matrimony, Sammy and Jethro. And we're just so happy for these two. Oh. <laughs> that first fight, and I didn't even say I do yet. <laughs> My goodness. I now pronounce you kitty and cat. You may kiss each other. Silly. Obviously, it's not really real, but it was all great. Everything turned out very well. Mmm. It's really good. The cake was beautiful, it was perfect, and I think everybody had a great time. I think this was a perfect wedding, and I hope that they have nine happy lives together. Now it's time to make some flowers. It's flower time. So for this floral wedding cake, we're doing different variations of purple, pinks, and greens, so they really pop off the buttercup icing. All right, do you got any rose tips? Uh, yeah. And there's going to be a ton of white hydrangea, which will tie it all back together. I can't do this. You're going to make all these, right? I'm going to teach you, Bacchus, the way of the ninja. I can't help you with that. Building a flower is like building a house. You need to start with a good foundation. Oh, yeah. It's pressure, it's control, it's technique, it's knowing. You know, when I put a bag in my hand, it's connected. I could, before I squeeze, I know if there's air in it. We'll be here all day if I try to do that. I'm going to do the, I'm going to do these. Good. You're going to do the little flowers. All right, I'm going to need more of this. I'm going to need a little bit more pink. OK. Bacchus, I believe in you. Get a bag, and give it a shot. Which side comes down? This side comes down. I can't get the rhythm down to like squeeze at the same pace and then spin at the same pace. Does the top of a pineapple count as well? When I teach my decorators new skills, it reminds me of my dad teaching me. I remember standing over that buttercream bucket with the rose nail in the bag, and I would make them no good, just throw them back in the bucket, and then I would just keep going until, until I got it. That looks like a sea urchin. That's very beautiful in the <laughs> grand scheme of the whole flower thing. I guess. Got it. Yeah. Did it. Oh my god, look how cute. I love it. The flowers are beautiful. Me and the whole team worked on it. It was an awesome collaboration. Oh my god. After you make all the flowers, then you become like a florist because you're building the bouquet right on the cake. You look so ridiculous. <laughs> So the best way to put these flowers on is to freeze them and then take the cake in the freezer so that the flowers don't melt when you put them on. I'm trying to fill in the edge, and I'm trying to color coordinate it. Different colors. <laughs> if we try putting the flowers on all in the decorating room, they're going to defrost, and they're going to look like a big lump of buttercream. The funny thing is, unlike putting the buttercream flowers on in the freezer, piping the rest of the little details, you can't do in the freezer. So we need to do hydrangeas and leaves, because eventually the buttercream would freeze up and wouldn't squeeze through the bag. It'd be like trying to push an elephant through a keyhole. I want to pipe the, the white hydrangea, and then we could always add the purple after. It, it, it's not easy. It's not an easy cake. Just follow and free form. So you, know, you could just throw a couple like over here if you want. The beauty of this cake is the depth. Every one is going to be a little bit higher or out a little bit. It's years of experience with a piping bag to be able to make a cake like this. I think that they're so unique and so beautiful and so hard to do. I got to get something on this tier. This was the basis of my cake decorating career. You, you like this cake? I dig it. It did a good job. I don't ever want to make flowers. <laughs> yeah. That's how you learn, Bacchus. So yeah, I piped a couple hundred flowers for the main cake. Now I got to pipe 
on top of these cupcakes, my arm is like throbbing, like the dump, the dump, the dump. We're gonna switch. Let's take these cups out. We're gonna go to the four cross. The hardest part about this cupcake centerpiece is that the cupcakes don't fall off. I'm gonna put the flowers on it. I'm just seeing how many I need so that I know that made enough. But you flower them first, then stick them on the toothpick. So we're gonna try to put some toothpicks and let the cupcake kind of sit in between two toothpicks so that it'll stay on. How many is that? 26. And I'm going to pipe some flowers real tight on them so that it'll look like a beautiful bouquet. That's lovely. Keep going. You got 300 more. 300? <laughs> I think it would have took shorter time if I would have grown these flowers than pipe them. There's a lot of cupcakes that got to be piped. That's nice. So the gaps between the cupcakes, we're going to fill them with tissue paper so it looks like leaves. You done with that, Liz? Uh, almost. I got to finish putting the green in. All right. All right, put it over here next to this one. Come check it out. I love it. It's like botanical gardens. <laughs> I like the bouquet that matches the cake. I think it looks cool. I'm pretty obsessed with the hydrangea bunches. I got to tell you, I just love floral wedding cakes. I mean, it's what I had at my wedding. I just hope that Jesse and Dan love it. Oh, are those cupcakes on there? I oh. just got that. That's the cutest thing I've ever seen. Bro, for your birthday, that's what we're going to do. I love that. And the cupcake centerpieces are going to look fantastic. <laughs> I think it was a really clever idea. I think we're going to be doing more of these things. Let's get it out of here. Another one in the books. First thing we're going to do is preheat the oven to 350. Cool. Done. The sweetest thing about Valentine's Day is that my son Marco is having his first case of puppy love. Give me three eggs. Three eggs. Mm -hmm. Uno, dos, and tres. Ooh. Ooh. Hablo espanol? I like that. What did you just say? You speak Spanish? Nope. Marco's got a friend in school named Claire. And they got sort of this thing going on. So Marco's making her cake for Valentine's Day. Is that why Claire likes you? Because you're bilingual? Actually, right. she's Italian. Okay. Swedish. <laughs> All right. Want to crack them? All right. How do we do this? Yeah. Crack it and put, oh, god. Uh-oh. You got a picture for the shells. Do you want to give Claire a crunchy cake or no? All right, dude. The first thing is you always be a gentleman. So you always open the door. You always be nice. You always tell her she looks pretty. Who doesn't know that? My son Marco, he's a cool cat. The stuff he comes up with, he's funny, he's adorable, and he's got the blue eyes, man. So he's definitely going to be a little ladies' man, that's for sure. All right. All right, so now let's put this down here. Lock it. Now let's put it in one, easy. You want to get all the ingredients tight and together. Should you always mix your cake batter or no? Can we do it on 10? No because then you'd have it all over the kitchen, and then your mother's going to kill you, and then me. Well, let's put the batter in, Marco. Close it up. What should we fill the cake with, vanilla or chocolate? Vanilla. What's her favorite colors? Pink. You are a smooth operator, son. I got to say, my boy, I can tell you, he's already smart. He knows her favorite colors. He knows what flavor she likes. You know, he did his uh, recon. OK, ready? Squeeze the top up. Good. Bye-bye. Buttercream. I remember my dad teaching me, and I remember working with him. And you know, it's awesome to be able to pass on what I know to my children. Can you show me how you um, like do the rosy thing? All the little tricks of the trade. It reminds me of doing things with my dad. Marco, what do you think? Good. I like it. I think you did a good job. Give me five, partner. And I think Claire's gonna like it. So Marco's having a bunch of his friends over, including Claire. So to be able to be there and see them interact and have some fun is pretty cool. Aww. Claire made Marco a cute little card, which is adorable. And just to see the smile on his face, awesome. That's cute. Nice. Marco made you something himself, too. Welcome. Oh, 
I put vanilla and then pink because it's our favorite color. Are we allowed to eat the cake? Yeah. Yeah. Of you course. want me to cut it up for you guys? We'll all have a piece. Let's so, do it. Sounds good. Come on. All right. So proud of my son. Not only did he make a great cake, but he's a gentleman, and they're both adorable, innocent, cute puppy love. Awesome. Happy Valentine's Day, baby.